Lawyers made their opening statements today in the trial of alleged crime boss Michael Miskey. Concilio, she was at federal court today where prosecutors and defense attorneys painted vastly different pictures of the businessman accused of numerous crimes, including murder. Fear, violence, and intimidation for money, control, and revenge. That's how federal prosecutors described accused crime boss Michael Miskey's alleged decades of terror in both the business and the underworld. Miskey's now the lone defendant after his half-brother John Stansel took a last-minute plea deal. This is rare. I've never seen this out of my 20 years of practice. Prosecutors laid out a case of racketeering, kidnapping, assaults, chemical attacks, and the alleged murder of Jonathan Frazier, a friend of Miskey's son Caleb, who died in a car crash Frazier survived. They alleged the businessman ordered chemical attacks on rivals and assaults on people who crossed him. But among the worst allegations is that Miskey ordered the torture and murder of Frazier, blaming him for the accident that killed his son. The opening statements definitely set the tone for the trial. Once a lawyer says this is what the evidence will show, the jurors are going to expect the evidence will show what the lawyer indicated. Miskey's defense attorney Michael Kennedy argued that Miskey's a legitimate business owner who has been trusted by government and residents. Describing Miskey as a self-made businessman after growing up on the streets, Kennedy showed news clips of jobs Miskey's Kamaaina Termite and Pest Control did over the last two decades and spent much of the time discrediting the prosecution's witnesses. Kristen Concilio, Island News.